In addition to the enormous threat to the southeast posed by Hurricane Florence, forecasters now say a tropical storm named Isaac will be passing ominously close to Puerto Rico on Friday. Also tonight, there's more evidence contradicting President Trump's claim that his administration's response to last year's hurricanes is a tremendous success. CNN's Bill Weir is uh, joining us. Uh, he's in Puerto Rico for us. He went to check out the reports of a huge stockpile of undistributed bottled water at a Puerto Rican airport. So, Bill, first of all, what did you find out? Uh, well, this all started actually yesterday, Wolf, when a uh, member of the local law enforcement posted a picture on social media out of frustration saying, can you believe this? Uh, another example of sort of the failed response. And we went, and it was not hard to find, uh, some 20,000 pallets of bottled water by our back of the envelope math. That's about 38 million bottles of water, or 10 for every resident of Puerto Rico or so, just sitting there, baking in the sun. Apparently, it's uh, FEMA started delivering to that airstrip back in the fall, October or November or so. They didn't start distributing it until May, and then some residents complained of a foul odor and taste. Uh, unsure whether it came that way or it, it got that way after sitting in the sun for months uh, in the heat down there, but then that prompted more water testing, and it's just been a, a sort of a perfect storm of logistical nightmares. And this is such a glaring example of uh, how emergency management is so much about logistics. And I couldn't help think back to all the folks I saw a month after the storm drinking rainwater, drinking creek water, and all the very solid, uh, earnest National Guardsmen and FEMA uh, workers who brought that water down here, thinking that they were going to save lives and help lives. Uh, but a lesson unlearned, uh, regardless of uh, the president's uh, A-plus grade yesterday. So I, I just want to be precise. You said 38 million bottles of water just sitting there when they could have been distributed uh, that water and, and help people? Exactly, exactly. Um, there's, uh, we were doing the math according to how many bottles in a pallet. So there were two statements put out, one by FEMA that says, look, it's just our job to get the resources to the island, to the state, and then it's up to the locals to distribute it. Uh, the Puerto Rican government put out a statement uh, that said, uh, basically, they sent us too much too late, that we have an extra 20,000 pallets of water that we will be returning. Uh, I, that's not the case. I mean, we know of people who have, uh, we saw, met a woman on Vieques yesterday who every day has to go down into town and carry up this cistern uh, in the back of her truck to feed her, her animals herself and her baby. So there's still plenty of need, but that disconnect is still so vivid uh, a year after. It's shocking to hear it. Uh, all right, Bill Weir, uh, on the scene for us in Puerto Rico, thank you very much.